Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and like Alicia said, I am so excited. So um, today's video is gonna be, actually before we get started into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and by the end of this video, if you enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up because it means so much to me. And um, if you want to connect with me on my other social media, then you can follow my Facebook and Instagram at Felicia Zaman and my Snapchat at Felicia.Zaman. I, uh, I will be leaving all my name down below. So if you want to follow me, add me, then please do so. Um, and so we're going to get started with today's video because, you know. So um, today's video, we're going to be talking about my acne problems well the acne problems I've had um so if you know me personally then I suffered from acne like I've had a huge acne issue for a really long time and in 2015 no 20 like half of 2013 to 2014 my acne just went really 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 out of control it was so bad I was embarrassed I was insecure I was like everything about my skin cuz um, it was really bad I will be putting a uh, photo somewhere in this video to show you guys my acne then and my acne now and also on both photos I am now wearing no makeup so you can see how my skin is so we're gonna get, I don't know if we started this video already or not, but we're gonna get started. <laughs> um, so, the first, I actually wanted to share the product that I have used and that have helped me um, with getting rid of my acne. I have four, four products, and I'm only gonna talk about the one that helped me, which is these four. So, the first one was a cocoa butter. Um, I lost it. It was summer in my house, but I lost it. I was I spent like half of the night last night looking for it. I even Googled. I could not find it because I never really read the name of it. So I didn't know. I couldn't find it. But I do have the other three and the one that I'm currently using. So to include this one. And um, I'm going to share that with you guys. So after the cocoa butter, I used it for a few months. It helped me get rid of a lot of the acne. It kind of stopped it and well it kind of did it helped though but not completely until like I stopped using it a few months after because I feel like on my skin after a while the product just like stopped working so I stopped using it and then I wasn't really using anything for acne on my skin until um a few months I think after that I went to my family doctor and I was plain face, I was wearing makeup, nothing on my face, and he was he asked me if I'm using anything on my face, and I said no. So he recommended something for me to use on my face. So I, it was a gel, and I lost the tube, but I had a photo, and which was good, but I also, while I was looking for the cocoa butter, I found the box. So the box, I'm gonna try to find the name. That's the name right there of the product. I'm not going to pronounce it because I cannot say it. But it's a gel. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I used this for a few months again. Oh, one thing I said about it is it's a tropical acne therapy. It worked really well for me. Um, it got rid of almost all the acnes. This one got rid. So the cocoa butter did help, but not completely. This one helped me get like got rid of like basically all the acnes that I've had. So it's um I like you can't really buy it over the counter or anything. It'll be really expensive. So if you're gonna like if you want to get these stuff, I would recommend going to the doctor for it. Except for the last one and the first one, but the other two that I'll be sharing which is the one after this, I would recommend going to see a doctor and, you know, talking about it, but not to buy it over the counter because it'll be expensive, guys. So, 
I used this for a few months. It helped me. And then I stopped using it because I felt like it wasn't working anymore. Besides, I felt like I've lost my acne by then. So it was like I didn't have to use it. So I stopped using it. And one thing I love with this is it never like made my skin really uh, dry or really oily. Like my skin was just normal. Until a few months after I, like, I stopped using this, I started using this. So the reason why I started using this is because um, I used to wear makeup a lot to cover my acne and then I got into a relationship guys and I kind of felt like I, like I didn't want to be always wearing the makeup to cover my acne because I was insecure about it so I um well he my boyfriend like basically he was okay with me wearing makeup but he saw me without makeup and he said I was like he told me that I looked really beautiful without makeup too so it kind of like made me want to show my real skin more so what I did was after a long time after like a few months after we've been together I went to the doctor because I used to like go to school just with my normal skin and I still had a lot of, like I got rid of the like the actual acne on my skin but the marks were still there and my huge pores were still there so I had to get rid of that too right so what I did was I went to see my family doctor again and he recommended me to go see a spe is face specialist. I don't know what you call them, but um, when I went, she gave me this. So, I got this from her, and I used it for a few months again. And I stopped. The only reason why I stopped using it was I felt that I didn't have to use it anymore, not because it stopped working. I stopped using it because I saw that all the marks were leaving my skin, like. Finally, after so much months, the marks were leaving my skin, and I was like, thank God. So, this took away all the marks. This took away the acne. The cocoa butter also helped, but it wasn't, like, really, really huge, but it helped, right? So, this one is, like, the best, because it helped me with the mark. And, like, getting rid of the acne was really good, but then I was really mad about the marks on my skin, so which this helped me with, and I'm really happy about that. And since I stopped using this, it hasn't been, like, a really long time since I stopped using this, but then after I stopped, I was like, I want to use something on my skin. Like, I I usually use, put on, like, a moisturizer before bed, but then I was like, I really want to use, like, something, you know, more up on my skin. So, I went to the body shop, and... It was, I feel like with this one, it was a coincidence that I got it. I don't know, it's just like it was meant to be, not even a coincidence. It was, so I'm going to tell you the story. So I walk in the body shop. I literally walked around the whole store. So I started here, I walked around there, and then I come back out to the end, and I'm about to leave, and my hand just hit this down. So then the girl came up to me, and she's like, oh, can I help you with something? And I'm like, Oh yeah, that um, I'm looking for a face mask. I wasn't actually looking for a face mask or anything, but I just said that. I don't know why it came out, and she kind she actually recommended the same one, which is this. This is a tea tree anti imperfection night mask. She recommended to me after I told her why I needed it and how my skin is and what problems I need, like I was having with my skin, and she recommended this to me, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. And tried it out and guys all my pores are not gone but my face without makeup I am so confident what I'm from like I'm so confident with my skin now this three product have helped me so much get with getting rid of my acne and like it's like I nearly cried one day because I was looking at my skin and I was just like I don't have any like my acne's are gone and that's really really wonderful like I don't know I have no words it's just like I was really happy when my like my acne's and the marks were finally gone now that I just have like kind of huge pores it's not really a problem for me because huge pore, pore like a lot of people have it guys and it's not something 
like to like get worried over it. It's just it's just pores. There's a lot of ways to control it. There's a lot of primer and foundation and concealer. Just conceal all that hole. Like it's fine. Um, it's not something really huge, but I am trying to get rid of the few little pores that I have left, cause I I just want really beautiful, really really beautiful like baby skin. So I hope I get my baby skin back. Um. But I wanted to share these with you guys because these products have helped me and I'm pretty sure it can help one of you. Um, I know a lot of people are suffering from acne and they choose to like just go get something at the drugstore or like do some natural stuff on their face. Then guys, if you are having that problem, then go see a doctor. Like they take care of every single thing they have a cure for everything and this is just your acne they're gonna do something about it like they they'll not tell you that oh we can't cure your acne or whatever they have something for you girl or a guy so if you're having an acne problem i like i really really recommend going to the doctor i wish someone had recommended me earlier to go see a doctor about my acne skin um, I would have tagged that person, but nobody did. I just went by myself. So, well, actually, my boyfriend did. So, yeah. But, um, I wish it happened earlier, but it's not a problem. I mean, I'm still young, and I finally got rid of my acne, so that's good. And, um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys, since we're talking about acnes and skin and all this thing, is, well, actually, two things. One is keep coconut oil away from your face. I use coconut oil for so many things, you would not believe it. I use coconut oil for my, to grow my lashes, my eyebrows, my hair, my nail for thicker, stronger, longer nail. I use it on my skin, I use it under my eye as like an eye treatment type of thing before I go to sleep. Sometimes I do it. I used it uh, in like face masks. I use it if I'm going to soak my feet. I put some coconut oil in the water. It just does so much wonder and it's coconut oil is good so I use it a lot but I also used to use coconut oil to take my makeup off and I know a lot of us use oil to take our makeup off you know you just with your full face makeup on you just take some oil and you start massaging in circular motion it's supposed to help but um my doctor when I went for this the Bianca gel I didn't say the name, but the Bianca gel. My doctor said um, I shouldn't use coconut oil on my skin because it clogs my pore. And maybe that was one of the reasons why I kind of still used to have a few breakouts and that type of thing. But since I've ha like I stopped using coconut oil completely on my skin, my skin has been good. It's been really nice. I mean, I still use coconut oil on me. I just try to avoid it on like my like my face area. Like, I'll use it on the eye area, but my face, nope. I try to keep it out as far as possible because I don't want what happened to me then happen again. But one thing I also realized was the reason why in 2013 and 14 my breakouts were that bad was because I recently found out this. My skin reacts to aloe vera. Um, I cannot use aloe vera on my face. It reacts to it. And in 2013, I used I used to use this aloe vera. I think I can't remember what it was, but the main ingredient was aloe vera. It was like a cream moisturizer or something, and I used to use that on my skin. And then I, like thinking about it, that was the reason why my breakout got out of control. Like my acne just went boom on me. So it was aloe vera. I recently noticed this because I use like now I don't use aloe vera cream. I use like the I just get the stick from the grocery store and I would use it for like stuff. But um I keep it away from my face as well as coconut oil now because the aloe vera um made me break out. So you should if you're using something you should really pay attention to what you're using on your face and if you notice a change and stop using it guys. Maybe your skin reacts to those products or whatever you may be using. So I kind of don't really use aloe vera on my face anymore. I use like Vaseline, you know the Vaseline with aloe vera. It's like flavor type of thing. I use that on my body, but I do not use aloe vera on my face. It caused me to break out. And I don't, I don't really want to break out anymore. And the second thing that I was going to tell you guys was if you're 
if even if you don't have acne problems and you wear makeup, you need to take that makeup off. If you do not remove your makeup properly, then you're gonna break you're gonna break up. And when I say remove your makeup, I don't mean like just take some soap and wash your face off when you go in the shower because that do not remove your makeup. And even um, if you use like a makeup remover wipe, that's not all. You need to use a cleanser after that to take your makeup off completely. Then use like a toner or something to just wet a cotton ball. Just try your best and do just do more than one step to remove your makeup, guys, because when you have like makeup left in your skin, that's what causes breakout and you don't want that. So to prevent you from not having breakouts, then remove your makeup. Don't use coconut oil on your, on your face too close. Change your pillowcase, drink enough water. Those are like really small things that we can do to make sure we don't have, like we don't break out. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, I am so happy I actually got to share this video with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video.